is just a beach my nipples. This show is crazy. This show is crazy. Look, this man has done it all since he was in his first film almost for about 40 years ago with Tadio Gidon called The Boy Next Door. As he asked me to play the role, my first thing was, no. no. <laughs> I was afraid. You no, know, Tadi has a reputation of perfection. Yes, yes. So I didn't think I was good enough at all. Right. You know, the first day, every step I took to his, towards his house was like I was going to die. Mm. Every day I was going to that house for work or something, I was praying to God that there was an accident that was happening. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> then he moved from that into repose, and the rest has been history. You know him as one of Nigeria's most brilliant acting icons. Kepi, Ekweyong, Basi. If you bring me a stage play script, from the moment you give me my script, mm. I begin to shake. Really? Uh, I begin to talk in my sleep. <laughs> Yeah, but it's not easy. Yeah. I adore him. You know, he's been in some of my favorite things of all times as a small child. I was just loving Ripples. Ripples is timeless. You know, but 93 Days was a blast. I'll tell you what it was. The character I played was, you remember his name? What's yes, his name? The, uh, Patrick, the ambassador, the envoy. No, Patrick, Liberia. Patrick was an American Liberian. Yes. So his accent was the clean. Accent, yeah. It was clean, clean. <laughs> But my director wanted me to have a Liberian uh, affectation. Oh, right, right. His accent was clean, but yeah. the, the, right. For, that was a creative decision. That was by the director. Uh, so when he told me, all of us were wondering, how are you going to do this? Show? <laughs> how are you going to make this happen? Right. He showed up in King of Boys, Return of the King was a blast. You know, Blood Sisters. But before that, his career, his work goes as far back. He was in Derry, An African Tale. He was in Anini, the movie. He was the first. Um, doctor commissioned into the armed forces of Nigeria. So wow. my father was the first medical doctor. He built the army hospitals, the air force hospitals, the navy hospitals, and the police hospitals. Oh wow! I was born in one of those hospitals. I was born in the hospital in Yaba. It's yeah. called the base hospital now, Yaba Military Hospital. <laughs> Coincidentally, my daughter was born in the same room I was born in. Because he made a call to the commanding officer. And <laughs> my son's wife is coming up. So they put me, put my, my wife in the same room. Yeah. So my daughter had the privilege to be born in the room. That you were born in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a badass story she's got. Badass story, but she doesn't know about it yet. She doesn't really care right now. Tell me about it. We have a fantastic conversation about fatherhood, about marriage, about how to communicate with your children, how he has built a fantastic relationship with his children. Well, a lot of people might not think about it as being traditional, mm. but there's no book in this life on parenting. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, why being an actor was the best choice he could have made for his career? So for me, becoming an actor was the most fulfilling part of my life, mm. you know? Mm. And because I found so much joy and so much pleasure outside my passion, I, I seem to be ever there, you know, and even when there are down times, I'm still high because it's always what I wanted to do. Look, he came into this set and took it away. I never expected it. You know, I never expected it. So much joy, so much laughter. Yeah. The women are doing well in our industry. They are the owners right? of the industry. <laughs> we men, we need to wake up. <laughs> we need to stop. I beg, I beg, can you do this work for me now? I beg, I beg, I beg. You know how things be. I know. <laughs> The woman says, don't worry, we'll take care of you, we'll breastfeed you, <laughs> <laughs> we'll pamper you to bed. Yeah. That's what they're doing to us, yeah. you know. So many fist bumps, you know, so many, you know, jokes. Look, you will have a blast on this episode of With Today with Kepi Epeyong Mbasi. Gang, gang. Gang. <laughs>